Now let's go to the KNPL 700 device configuration. The default user and password is admin. You can select the English version. The status, usable, and the model number, network, accounts, unapplied. Normally, it can be shows registered and the settings. You need to select the fixed IP mode and the IP address of the phone. These are the same through, uh, from the IPBBX. And uh, then save the server, the SNMP server IP address. You need to enable it and the server port is, is defaulted. And you can make the zone name here for different uh, station, the device name. And uh, the phone auto answer who come time and uh, ring style you can cho choose here. This is the default setting and you can adjust the mic input volume, speak output volume here. Hotline off. For the KNZD09A, you need to make it on and then set up the cord to phone number here. And the no condition for word for these three numbers. You can select on or off. No answer for word. On or off. You can select here. And the codex and settings. Normally defeat defaulted is this one. First performance. Uh, preference <laughs> and save. And speed dial, you can uh, set up the speed dial numbers for the KMPL 700 here. The name and the, the numbers. This is for the plus settings. Security is for the dry contact. For the KMPL uh, 700, uh, no need to set it. This is also uh, no need for settings. You can set up the time for the device. Yeah, NTP enable. And the NTP server address and port is should be seen from the the main page and the time zone, and then save. You can select the language here. Save configuration. You need make it enable. Then register, register switch on, others off. And the di display name, these are the private page settings, the information and zip hub it. For the server, this is for the OCC server address and port domain. And the server 2 is for the BCC server address. Then dialing rules, maybe no need to uh, set, just one dot, then save. CDR, address book, um, door phone function, um, no use for the, for this phone. Maintenance. After all the settings saved, you need to reboot the phone to make it effective. 
this is the config. You can save the configuration and then up the configuration file to other phones. And also can clear the configuration information here. Upgrades for the firmware. And the admin settings. This is the um, defaulted username and password. You can change it and then confirm it. Device monitor. This is for the self-checking function. Mm, this phone uh, no use. Capture. Uh, this is the default settings and then you can input the IP address of this phone and the server source port and uh, then start after start you can make the course then download the file normally uh, for our engineer checking what's the issue debug also normally for the engineer to chase this phone then you can log out here after restart the phone um, you need to wait for about 30 seconds then refresh this page it will uh, start the login page